Good morning. It's chilly today. A bit chilly. Mm. Road's clear, but there's still snow, and now the snow has turned to that frozen crunchiness. So it's time to put the 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 ice grips on the feet. Well, on the shoes, on the feet. Well, actually, on the feet, because then feet would be cold, and you know when to go outside. Oh, and I've got I've got a lot of things going out today. Most of which I've already done, and then a pile which I haven't done because I was trying to get ahead. Basically, in the bag there, that's Hermes Guy parcels, some vintage lots um, going out, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six going um, UPS, one of which I've just got to finish parceling up, um, and then another pile of stuff here to pack up and some more stuff from the garage so it's gonna be a busy little morning and then one day like I've got three days left of meds and I think I'm, I won't take a walk in today I think I'll take a walk in tomorrow to go get them um like maybe when the, the snow is cleared a little bit more I mean, it's probably actually fine down on the street. Well, I can see it's like it is. It's that frozen slushy tightness, and I don't particularly want to, you know. So I might do that tomorrow instead. Go for a, a little walk into town tomorrow when hopefully it's cleared up a little bit more. I mean, I don't have to pick up the meds today. It's just they're ready from today, and I've got three more days of them. So three more days after today. So technically, I could do it up until Thursday. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, chilly little morning. Um, I think I've got an order from Boohoo coming of some things that you'll probably be amazed that I don't own. And that's some black leggings. I don't own any. Hmm. Um, but these are a different kind of black leggings because it's me, you know. But I was like, I need something slightly warmer than my tights. You know, so if I wear one of those short dresses, like my, my legs aren't cold because that's what's been happening. As good as snag tights are, and they do do like the thick merino wool ones as well, which I should really invest in some. I thought maybe a pair of leggings warmer than tights. See, up there for thinking, down there for wearing tights. Mum's birthday tomorrow, so I should also go and find a card from somewhere. No cake though, I don't think, because I think th there's a there's a lot of Christmas sweets and everything still unopened. So I don't think cake, unless Mum wants it. Anyways, yeah, back in a bit with my orders and what's going out and stuff. Okay, good. Right, so sales then. Um, I've got to say to um, hello to Leslie and to another Leslie too. Um, I hope you enjoy your stuff. I'm just packaging them up in a second. Um, got some like dog lots, fab earrings, lot loads of stuff in there, and two kilos and some vintage stuff going off to you guys. So enjoy. My hair is just fantastic, isn't it? And then other things going out. Oh God, I haven't got some, I haven't got, right. There's a money bracelet that I still haven't got, but I think I've got on everything else, right. White Friars um, bowl, that, I took it off for 30 pounds on those. Um, two pairs of clip-on earrings and a little fishy brooch, uh, 40 pounds all together. Cause they're like, they're all named ones. There's Daxon, um, Pompous and Kenneth J. Lane. Um, this fun stripy necklace went for £9.99, this lovely sparkly one, £9.59, a nomination charm went for a fiver, um, a little 
sterling silver ring with a little heart sparkly bit went for 9.99 some dangly earrings it's got like a little clamshell 6.99 vintage paisley shirt yes vintage paisley shirt um went for 7.99 i've had that quite a while obviously um a little iris glass see like rainbow glass necklace 11.99 this chunky monkey one went for eight pound fifty and then they bought another two last night so that one's been paid for they haven't paid for these ones yet they think they're going to pay this morning so just waiting payments on these ones and then just a, a little gold tone vintage necklace still pendant on there for 4.99 um yeah so i'm gonna get packing this stuff up because it's monday and that's what we do every day actually i've got a parcel stop friend it's um well i'm my friend and i bought myself something okay basically i went on wish and i ordered jewelry out of curiosity just to see the kind of stuff that you get and stuff that is you know silver to see actually whether it is at least i think that's what this is so there's one of the actually this is a game i've ordered and then there's a present for someone else as well so i'll show you the game that i've ordered which will probably be um a christmas present the next year. <laughs> uh, yeah, how much did I spend on all of this? I spent a total of £71. Um, I don't remember, and, and most of that is shipping, because you know what Wisher likes. Like, this is only three pence, but shipping is eight pounds. So. All right then. Oh, it's it. Oh, that's handy. They put little plastic corner things that's cool so it doesn't get crushed so this is a game called secret hitler and that's all that's on it so that's a nice mystery so i'm not going to open it up but yeah so that's a game that i bought right and now i'm looking for one that might be the present so that i don't open it on camera because that's got to go to someone. Brooch. I don't remember ordering the brooch, so that's the one. It's not a brooch. I don't know why they've labeled it as brooch when it's not. But that's a present for someone else. Right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things to open. Isn't this exciting? Little, little packages. Hopefully reusable. Right. Oh, and there's a few things in here. God, how much did I order? Oh, that's pretty, but you can tell it's not silver. At least I don't know. Right. The way I know it's not silver is because there's a little bit of like bubbling on the inside of the coating. But the stone is quite pretty. And it fits me quite nice. So I will test these for silver, just out of curiosity, really. Um, but I could already tell that that one's not. This one, debatable, because the finish is quite nice on it, and it is very pretty. Look, it's got like all little birdies. Now that is also size seven, but it's a little bit tighter. But that's cute. Now that, did I see any marks on it? doesn't say 95 we'll check it anyway right these earrings look quite different to to what i was expecting really they definitely show like their um you know their well how do you call it in like fashion terms you know, when you have like a sample, that's it. They show their sample, which is like made in silver and nice stones. And then they send you this, which 
not so much because they are not the nice stones that it looked like on there that's um like a bit of paper with some plastic across the front it looks like but they're still unusual earrings and i still still try and sell them and i they are definitely not silver so there we go next one what have we got in here so oh no this is a present for someone as well okay so i won't show that not like they're gonna watch but that's just a little badge for someone and next we've got something a little prettier now this looks slightly better quality actually but again it's advertised as silver with amethyst in it and definitely not but they are pretty so it's earrings with like a little dragonfly and a little purple stone so they're pretty but they're not going to be silver are they at least it's very doubtful that they are i mean like why would they be silver and um, this is a ring oh this looks nice Okay, this one is stamped 925, there's no way this is silver, but it is very pretty. See, with like a blue topaz looking stone. It's a little bit bigger, so it's probably a size 8 it is, yep. That's quite nice, that. I mean, even as not silver, that looks quite artisan. I quite like that. But it's not going to be silver, is it? We'll test these all in a bit, I think. Um, how much have I paid for these so far? That, um, so that was one dollar ninety, one pound ninety six, one pound ninety six, two pound seventy five. It's kind of irrelevant considering that the postage is like the majority of this. The postage is like forty pounds. Now this definitely looked like silver online, and it is definitely not. And that, the stone looked like turquoise online, and it's definitely not turquoise, but that is still quite an attractive ring, don't you think? That's quite cool. Definitely not silver though, even though there is a 925 stamp. But you never know, we'll test it. We'll test it and see. It might surprise us. Right, this says something turquoise, alloy earrings. Again, these look nicer online, I think, but they're still, still quite pretty. They've definitely got the turquoise look down because it's got the little gold matrixes in it. So they're nice. Not silver. I mean, I, I genuinely, I didn't buy these expecting to, you know, suddenly find a load of silver rings turn up. This is just an experiment, really. Just curiosity got the better of me. Um, so it says ring, but this is actually some earrings. And I did like the look of these. I thought these were quite cool. I still think they're quite cool, quite modernist looking. Um, but again, looked a little bit better online, but I still quite like them. Like there is a faux kind of stone in there, but they look bizarre but it is basically just a bit of paper with some like glass or like resin over the top instead of an actual stone in there but still quite attractive i think and this is the last one something in rose gold ah, so this is another ring that definitely looks a lot cheaper in real life than in fact, so cheap that the stone looks like it's going to fall out. It's not stamped anything. It's an unusual ring. But that's not a... I mean, it's all right on. It looks nice. And I'll give you a closer look at these in a bit. But... 
No. Not for me, that one. Okay, so my favourite things. I definitely like the little birdie ring and this ring. Um, do they fit? So yeah, these two. I like these two rings. And that's a bit of costume. That's cool. I mean, the majority... You know, I've got three presents there from the £71. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bits of jewellery. I'm not blown away by this, obviously, but fun little experiment. And I'll show you in a bit if any of them have any silver content at all. <laughs> Just look at this happy catty. Yeah. Yes, Azumi, you love it, don't you? And the ironing board. Oh, you're so cute. We got the belly. Lovely belly. Yeah. Attack, 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 attack. Oh, cuddles. Yeah, we'll just... oh, I've been out gritting um, just so the postman and that doesn't, you know, fall over on these steps because that was proper ice before. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like listing today, so I said to myself, either do listings or go and get meds today because. If I get meds tomorrow, I probably won't want to list tomorrow, and then I'll be two days wasted. So I'm going to go and get meds now, so that tomorrow I can just do listing, isn't it? That's a good idea. Right, should be okay when I go over there. Yeah, looks all okay up the head, so I think I can take the grips off me feet. <laughs> Ah, oh, someone's made a nice snowman with a little carrot nose and, oh my word, how rude. <laughs> right, back from town and I'm having some lunch now, because I am hungry. So I'm having um, one of those breads I made the other day. I just opened and sliced with a couple of scrambled eggs and some sugar-free brown sauce. Nom nom. Um, for some reason, mesmerised by this gem shopping network live stream just seeing all these really blingy almost kind of nasty some of them but very i don't know just like that's so 80s isn't it anyway just just the way that they're selling these is wonderful i absolutely love it <laughs> I like the little turntable thingy. $795. Only. Wow. <laughs> Not sure if I showed you this yet, but yeah, I, I um, cut the bits off my um, God Save the Queen dress. Yeah, happy with this. It's all right, isn't it? And I know quite a few people out there um, have now gone and bought it, so... Damn, I wish I had affiliate links. <laughs> right, what we're going to do now... I shouldn't have sat down then, because I needed to get this one. Is... Testing kit. Magnet. And, um, let's see about these, uh, bits of jewellery. Right. So I'll, um, I'll put on screen as well, like, um, their photographs for these, because some of them are quite funny. This is described as like some designer thing with a turquoise stone, and I think, I think it's plastic? I don't know. I think it might be plastic, plastic cabochon. Um, but it's stamped 925 in there. Let's see if it's... I can't really feel if it's magnetic it's quite heavy but this is what we do um, i'm also watching at the moment 
I'll pause her right now. Velma Thrift. She does like, she's American and she does like jewelry and bagging and stuff. Right. Let's have you down a little bit more, shall we? So instantly it's scratching like a pinky color, which means it is, there's a copper underneath there. So I'm not even going to bother testing that for silver. That is not silver. What a surprise. Um, but it is still quite a nice ring. It's based on a, some designer ring, apparently. And it's a size, I've got them all in size eights or sevens, all the rings. So an eight is a Q and a seven is an O. I mean, it's still quite nice. It's just, you know, they can totally get away with saying something in silver and it's not. And it's, it does kind of meh me a little bit, but whatever. Right. The little birdie ring one. So again, I'll see if I can put on screen. Like I managed to find pictures for most of them, I think, not all of them. Right, and you can see like the copper straight away. So I'm not even gonna bother testing that one. That one, um, to be fair, it's not stamped 95, but I think in the little, like um, in the advert for it, it does say, and that's a size seven, so that's an O. This one's size eight, so it's a Q. This one I do genuinely like. Like, I think it does look, you know, like a studio art piece. It's not, oh no, this one is stamp 95. I mean, it's, it's definitely not. Nope, definitely not. And you can, you can, you can just tell silver, you know, but that is a handsome ring. I do quite like it. That's a size eight. I'm going to put the 18 7 separate. This one is meant to be, um, I think, an opal in there. And again, I, I quite like the design of it. It looks pretty cool on. There is not a chance that this is silver. Nope, definitely not. I mean, I don't even need to get the acids out to check. Like, you can just tell by that little scrape that it's not. This one, to be fair, I mean, I don't know why I bought this one, really. I thought it would just look like an unusual design. Um, I can't find the original advert for it. It is kind of cool and unusual, isn't it? Would look better in silver rather than rose gold, I think. I don't even know why I'm going to bother testing it, because it's definitely copper, but, you know. I don't know why I picked up that one. Right, and then of the earrings, I think all of these said that they were silver with like proper stones. So that one says that um, they should be turquoise in there. I don't think it's turquoise. At best, it's dyed howlite. At best. The matrixes are like in it rather, um, I mean like, you see where it goes darker. You should be able to feel that as like a grain, but you can't. It's just like it's painted in, you know, like molded in. So it's plastic, most likely. And a tiny scratch on there, but that shows that not silver. I mean, if they were silver, I'd be selling them for like 20 something pound on Etsy easily. Easily. They are still nice though. I mean, as a design, they are still nice, it's just not the materials that they say that they are. These were meant to be Labradorite with sterling silver, but I'm afraid not. It's just like, definitely not silver, and whatever, what is meant to be the stone in the middle isn't a stone, it's like a bit of paper covered in, um, like plastic resin, see-through resin. This is meant to be a green turquoise. Um, but again, that's just, as you can see, it's not even a stone. It's just like painted on and you can feel it. That's just resin. Definitely not silver. But again, the design is quite unusual, you know? And then these cute little dragonflies, again advertised as 
sterling silver, 95. Little dragonflies and what's meant to be, I think, like an amethyst. But that's just probably plastic or a bit of glass and definitely not silver. So there you go. I've, I've done the test for you. You didn't want me to test this for you. I mean, like the whole buying things from wish thing. But in case you have ever been tempted and you think like, Oh, I wonder if they are sterling silver rings for 43 pence. No. No, they're not. They're not. Um, sterling silver should cost a little bit of money because it is a semi-precious, semi-precious, it is a precious metal. And these are some, meant to be some precious and semi-precious stones and they're not. Um, but I will say that they are nice designs I know I spent £72 on all the lot, but the game was about 20 quid of that. And then there's two presents from there, which is probably about another £6. So, you know, we'll say about 50 quid I spent, really, on these nine things. Which is not awful, but certainly not, like, I wouldn't recommend it for, you know... Um, as a way to get loads of stuff to sell on, if you know what I mean. Certainly not silver, anyway. But if you're just getting it for yourself and you want, like, a nice, you know, fun ring or whatever, then, yeah, it's all right. But personally, I would prefer to buy, you know, proper silver. But that's, that's just me being a pretentious twat. <laughs> but I do still like that one. Anyways, yeah. Um, what am I doing this afternoon? I am not going to do listing, but I am going to sort out a bunch of stuff to list tomorrow. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by Wish. I paid for that with my own money and I didn't get any uh, kickbacks from that at all. And you know when people normally say things like that and they're, you know, uh, quite well known on the YouTubes and things, sometimes that maybe means that there's a kickback in another way. Just between you and me, okay? So be careful out there, folks. But I, I seriously can't stop just looking at, it, it's so addictive. <laughs> anyway, um, so these are the things that I'm going to be listing like over the next few days, I think, or oh, I'll try and do more tomorrow. This is 50 mainly vintage um, beaded necklaces. There's some cool weird little bits in there as well. See, there's got like little painted zebra on it. And then that quite beastly thing and then and that's I know that's a QVC Treasures of the Orient and then I've pulled out lots of pearly things as well because um Kamala was wearing pearls at her inauguration the other day so um some pearls and then some lovely like springtime kind of colours as well even though it's you know snowy outside people I think are still looking towards spring and some nice corals and pinks and you know aqua colors and stuff so that's what i pulled out to list um yeah hopefully all tomorrow but certainly during this week i think i think if i pull out like 50 a week to do as like buy it nows yeah that's all right isn't it yeah I'm, I'm now currently like addicted to watching like Gems TV and stuff like that and I found a British one, TJC Live, and they're like, this is genuine, genuine Malachite with real rose gold tone, uh, like, it's, it's hilarious, I love it. I want a job on one of these shows, it'd be fab, except I don't think I could hold back my sarcasm, I suppose. Anyways, my Boohoo order has come. So I'm going to try on these kind of wet look leggings, I guess. Now I got these in a 14, so I sized down because um, 
I want them to be skin tight to my legs. I don't think they're going to be now. I'm just going to take off my tights. So, you know, bear with. <laughs> yeah, I want them to be skin tight to my legs. Things very rarely are, even like skinny jeans and stuff. But you never know. So that's why I got them in a size down. Um, and I figured, well, I hoped they would kind of be okay, like round the waist. Although there's not a lot of stretch in the actual waist bit of it, so this may or may not work. Okay. Oh, no, I'm in. I'm in. It's okay. Right. I guess I'll show you. Hold on. That's a silly angle. Hang on. How about there? Do, do, do. And then, see, I can with the dress. Let's move this out the way. How's that? That's all right, isn't it? Not bad. Right, doing a rustling up stuff for dinner. So we've got some cauliflower left and doing some bacon and what's left of the tomatoes. And then it's like, we need some more protein. So found this in the freezer, got this, um, after Christmas, reduced down to 35 pence, slightly higher in carbs. Half the pack is like nine grams of carbs. Um, but sod it, that's what we're having. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so it's basically cauliflower cheese with that um, chicken and mushroom thing added into it as well. So, and some cauliflower, um, sorry, broccoli rice on the side because it didn't have any cauliflower rice left. But yeah. And it's got some tomatoes in it as well, mushrooms, chicken, and a cheesy mushroomy kind of sauce and bacon. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Look at me do a crazy dessert. <gasps> and this is lime jelly with some raspberries in it. They're like Isn't that cool? Almost like a work of art. That could be a Damien Hirst. Anyway. That's going to be my tasty dessert for tonight. And um, that's me. Yeah, so I'm going to bugger off now because this video is already long enough. Except there's just a little something after this. This is the next version of QVC. So enjoy. And I'll see you again probably tomorrow. Uh, bye bye now. Bye bye.